Hello, good morning everyone, this great Sunday morning of May the 26th. I hope you're having a good holiday weekend, and I hope you get to be off tomorrow so you can continue having a great holiday time. So, uh, interesting, I had two things showing up today. Uh, I kept hearing, um, we are the ancients, we are the ancients, we are the ancients. And so I have a card set um, that is from the divination of the ancients. So that's going to be our second card, and it's really quite curious how they line up with each other. But the first one, we're still going to go with the Dreams of Gaia Tara. Hi, Chikia. How are you, honey girl? Much love to you, sweetheart. So with Dreams of Gaia Tara by um, Raven Phelan. Hey, Bonnie. How are you? Awesome girl. So this first one that's showing up is the 1011 of air. That symbol, that symbol down there is air. 11 of air, and this is about body-mind. So look at that card. Oh my gosh, is that not something? Hope you can see it. I'll try to hold it still. There's a lot going on in that card. So I'm going to put my glasses on so I can get all this right for us because these two cards together are very important. So the key phrases for body-mind. Hey, I made it live. Yes, you did. Yes. Key phrases for body-mind, which is 11 of air. Be open-minded and questioning. You are only limited by your mind. Mm. Those of us in the metaphysical arena and that understand law of attraction and follow those different guidelines know that well. Not that we always remember it, though. Be discerning. How is your mind affecting your body? What you think about, you bring about, don't you? How is your body affecting your mind? Mm. Kind of like a double-edged sword. Facts are certainties. Opinions are not facts, and we can only change ourselves. So I think that's pretty clear there on body-mind. There's a lot here that they talk about it, but I'm just going to hit a few of the highlights, I think. What is reality and what is imagined? What is faked, fact and what is fiction? Can that which dwells within the mind have an effect on the body? Can the physical body affect the state of mind? The eleven of art symbolizes a need to the oh, sorry, the eleven of air art. I got art on the mind today. We may be painting. The eleven of air symbolizes a need to keep a healthy understanding of the relationship between mind and body and the power each can have over the other. It symbolizes the <clears throat> being able to differentiate between fact and opinion and to make room for the imagination within our realities while still embracing a little bit of reality within our imaginings. So there is like two more pages. How's your body affecting your mind? How's your mind affecting your body? There's all kind of great juicy stuff in here. Uh, and if you want to know more, then you can get this deck and read it yourself. Or we can do a personal one-on-one -on -one reading and I can go into more in depth whenever you want to. But I want to follow up this body and mind with what showed up <clears throat> from this deck, The Divination of the Ancients. And this deck is by Barbara Meckeljohn Free and Flavia Kate Peters. So, the card that came up is Dictionary, Communication. And when that first showed up, I thought, yeah, okay, well, okay, so I'm supposed to look up something in the dictionary. What is this about? And they said, pull the other card from the Gaia deck and see what we've got. So, Body, Mind with Gaia. Dictionary is, are you ready? You are overthinking things. Stop trying to analyze every conversation, every word, every thought. 
It is time to shift from the control of the logic and analytical left brain and explore the creative intuitive right brain, which will help you find clarity, inspiration, and peace of mind. This message also serves as a reminder to listen to others, particularly when they are offering help. Didn't we have just two days ago? Listen, listen, hear. These are just weaving together amazingly. Be careful not to dismiss advice, for often it comes as an answer to your prayers. You are like a closed book, and people find it hard to read you. It is time to open up and share your thoughts and feelings, as this will bring greater understanding and deeper meaning to your relationships. So I think that's quite telling, because not only do we need to work here and, uh, and notice our body and mind relationship, but we also need to notice our relationship with our languaging out of our mouths because that's the power you speak with with the breath that that mm, keeps your body alive you speak with a divine breath so it's all about what you're thinking about and what you speak about so be careful with your communication and what you're saying so here's a few uh, this is this says it's an incantation so we'll see how it works did I come across okay? How did I speak? What did I say? Got to be mindful. Communication is the key to connecting purposefully. True, yes? Hi, Lona. How are you, honey? So, listen well as important words may be spoken to you by a friend or stranger are written down and placed before you in a note or card will point you to your next step. Try to understand someone else's point of view. Meditate to quiet your mind. Speak with confidence. Your life purpose involves writing and public speaking. So those are a lot of different meanings for this dictionary communication card and I hope you can agree with me that it goes hand in hand with body mind communication and our card from a couple of days ago about the counselor listen listen hear watch your mind Watch your physicality. Watch how you speak. Watch the words that you say. Or that you even write, because that is another form of energy being transferred over. Hi, Renee. How are you, honey? So, thanks for checking in on this Sunday morning. I know y'all have got busy activities going on, and I hope you have a great holiday Sunday. And... We'll continue holiday Monday tomorrow. Love you all. Bye for now. Have a good one.